Today, we'll be comparing four top rated brands of matter enabled smart bulbs to see which one is a good choice for your smart home. We'll compare everything that you need to know about these smart bulbs, like brightness and color accuracy differences, special lighting effects, and ending with my overall thoughts on all of these bulbs and which one that I would personally recommend. Now, I should preface this video by saying that there are different shapes and styles of smart bulbs that support matter, but to make this a fair comparison, we'll just be comparing bulbs with a common A19 shape and E26 base, the standard for most indoor light fixtures like lamps or ceiling lights. Visually, all these bulbs are similar in design, but Nanoleaf is shaped like a, uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this, this is crazy. It's a cool shape and all, but doesn't serve an actual purpose, and if you're putting it in a lamp or a fixture that covers up the bulb, you can't see the design. So there's really nothing special about it. Wiz, Singlet, and Nanoleaf are rated for a 60 watt equivalent bulb, around 9 watts each, but Topo is rated for a 75 watt equivalent bulb. It's 9.5 watts and will work in most 60 watt light fixtures. Next is one of the most important things to consider when buying a smart bulb and that is brightness and color accuracy differences. Wiz and Sanglid have a standard 800 lumens that is bright, but Nanoleaf and Topo are brighter with 1100 lumens. All of the bulbs have a similar warm white and cool white range, but the dimming range is where things really differ. At 1%, Sanglid and Topo do get dim, Nanoleaf has issues with dimming and would often be off at 1% and even at 5%. I set the bulb to 1% and started at a cool white, and whenever I went to a warm white at the same brightness, the light just turned off. So the brightness seems to vary based on the white temperature and does not do this with colors. And speaking of colors, for the most part, they are all accurate and bright, except for Nanoleaf. So earlier I mentioned that Nanoleaf has 1100 lumens of brightness. Well, that 1100 lumens is only for whites and not for colors. For colors, it drops down to 800 lumens. But what does not drop is Topo, which also has 1100 lumens for whites and colors. They are all pretty accurate with colors, but Nanoleaf tends to be on the lighter side on all of the colors. This is more of a personal preference as to which bulb has better colors, but I personally prefer colors that are more true to life and not on the lighter side like with Nanoleaf. Now I should mention that none of these bulbs support Apple's adaptive lighting, which is where the light temperature will automatically change based on the time of day. This is not a feature supported by Matter, so any device that supports Matter will not natively support adaptive lighting in the Apple Home app. Speaking of Matter, Matter is the new smart home standard that allows any supported device to work with all ecosystems right out of the box, regardless of who made the device, like Wiz, Sanglid, Top or Nanoleaf. Next, we'll look at how the experience is using these bulbs in each ecosystem, but first, what is a benefit to using a matter-enabled device? Well, one benefit is that it can work offline without an internet connection. But if it is online, then you'll be able to see it on your network and manage access from a free app called Fing, who is sponsoring today's video. Fing allows you to do a full network scan on a home or business network from a mobile or desktop device to not only see the devices that are currently connected to your network, but also various ways to manage these devices. So here you can see all my smart devices like my smart plugs, my smart cameras, and scrolling all the way down here, you'll see my Matter Smart Bulb. From here, I can see more info about the device, like the IP address, the brand, and with Fing Premium, you'll have access to full monitoring and protection features for all your devices, like blocking or pausing a device from accessing your network, receiving an alert if a device goes offline or comes back online, and the ability to see hidden cameras on your network and more. If you just want to see all the devices connected to your network, there is a free version available, but for more advanced control and protection for all of your devices, check out the starter or premium plans. And by using my link down in the description below, you'll get a 25% discount for six months off their monthly premium plan. And a huge thank you to Feng for sponsoring today's video. Now let's look at how all these smart bulbs connect and if they work well in other smart home ecosystems. Now each of these bulbs can be used without any additional apps or accounts in each ecosystem. And most of the bulbs connect over the common 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and does not support the five gigahertz band. Now this can be a bad thing because having too many devices connected to your network over Wi-Fi could cause network congestion and slow down your network. 
However, I have not found this to be the case. Nanoleaf is the only bulb that connects over thread, a newer connection designed for smart home devices that is more reliable than a device that just connects over Wi-Fi. To use thread, you'll need a thread border router, which if you're using the bulb in the Apple Home ecosystem, is a compatible Apple TV, HomePod, or HomePod Mini. A thread network allows for faster response times and gets stronger as you add more thread-enabled devices or at least it's supposed to. In actual day-to-day -day use, I found Nanoleaf to be slower to respond and have more connectivity issues than devices that just connect over Wi-Fi, like Wiz, Topo, or Sanglid. I actually had to reset the Nanoleaf bulb multiple times since it kept dropping the connection from the Apple Home app, even with a thread-supported Apple TV and HomePod mini in the same room. And to make matters worse, I got an error message when trying to remove the bulb from the Nanoleaf app and it took a while to get this bulb set back up. This is actually a common experience that I have with most thread devices from various brands. They're often slower to respond and often go offline. Nanoleaf is the only bulb that I have had issues with in this video, at least most of my issues with. But what I did not have any issues with was connecting these smart bulbs to other ecosystems like Apple Home, Google, and Amazon over Matter. The Matter code, which you'll use to set up the bulb, is on the bulb itself, inside the box, and or inside the manufacturer's app of the bulb. Now, a Matter controller is required for each of the ecosystem that you want to use the bulb in. So if you want to use it in Apple Home, the controller is any of Apple's currently supported home hubs. And for other ecosystems, it's these devices right here. In the Apple Home app, the bulbs are responsive and the status, like the brightness and the color, does sync across each ecosystem and vice versa. Now let's look at some special effects that these bulbs have. And this is where things get fun. Starting off with Sanglid. There is a Sanglid app, but it does not offer any special effects, nor is it even compatible with the Sanglid Matter Smart Bulb. So really the only features you get with this bulb are features you get in the ecosystem that you're using the bulb in, which is usually just controlling the power, the brightness, color, and using it in automations. This may or may not be a problem for you if you just want the basics and don't want or need any special lighting effects and just want to be able to control the bulb and maybe control the colors. With Topo, you can choose between two styles of themes and you can customize the effect, the speed, the colors, and the brightness. However, these cannot be saved to use in Apple Home. It's only available in the Topo app, and that's a bummer. Kind of like how Wiz has various effects as well, like preset whites and dynamic lighting effects with the ability to add these effects as scenes. But again, these effects cannot be saved to use in Apple Home. They're only available in the Wiz app. However, you can use these effects in a Siri shortcut, but more on this later. Nanoleaf has the most amount of effects with a long list of pre-made effects and lighting animations created by Nanoleaf or people in the Nanoleaf community. You're able to preview these effects before adding them to your library and there's playlists, which are group of effects. There's also motion, which is cool effects and colors that the bulb can cycle through. The best part about these effects is that they can automatically sync to the Apple Home app as you create them. The next big feature that you need to consider whenever buying a smart bulb is does it support power loss recovery, which will restore the last on and off status of the bulb if the power goes out. So if the bulb is off and the power goes out, when the power comes back on, the bulb will still be off. This is helpful so you're not awoken by a bright light in the middle of the night while you're trying to sleep. I've experienced this before and there's nothing worse than trying to sleep and a bright light wakes you up and then you have to turn it off. Plus, if you have a significant other or a spouse in the same room, then they're not gonna be too happy if the light just comes on randomly while they're trying to sleep too. So whenever you're looking for a smart bulb, I would highly recommend considering this feature. Thankfully, most of the bulbs in this video support power loss recovery. Nanoleaf, Wiz, and Topo do, though Topo has additional settings when it comes to this, like adjusting the brightness and the color, and these can all be set up in their respective apps, but Sango does not support this feature since the Sango app is not supported with the Sanglid Matter Bulb. This means that the Sanglid Matter Bulb will come on whenever power is restored, even if the bulb was off before the power went out. One of my favorite features about a smart bulb is if it can fade on or off whenever it's turning on or off. This way, the white is not jarring and does not hurt your eyes whenever it's turning on or off. It's smooth and easy on the eyes, especially if the bulb is extra bright, like Nanoleaf or Topo. Wiz can fade as well, and you can actually adjust the fade in and out time length so you can choose your own speed, which is cool if you want the bulb to fade on or off slower. Sango does not support fading, so it's more of a flash when it's on or off, 
I don't like this personally. These special effects and power loss recovery can only be found in the manufacturer app of the smart bulb. Not only do these bulbs have special lighting effects, but some bulbs have exclusive features that you will not find with any other brand. With Nanoleaf, if you use a Mac or Windows computer, there's a Nanoleaf desktop app that supports screen mirroring. So the colors on your screen will appear on the bulb and or any other Nanoleaf lights that you may have. This is pretty cool. Nanoleaf also supports Overwolf and Razor Chroma if you use those integrations. Topo has a timer feature and you can choose for the bulb to be a certain color, white or brightness and choose the time. Wiz and Topo share a few similar features such as energy monitoring. I found the Wiz app to show better visuals of the information with a graph, whereas the Topo app is just text and shows up to the last month, but it does show energy savings as well. Wiz and Topo both support Siri shortcuts, so you can create a shortcut to control the bulb on the fly, like the color or the brightness. But Wiz also allows you to run scenes from a shortcut or using Siri, whereas Topo does not support this feature. Another feature that Topo or any other brand does not support and is exclusive to Wiz is called SpaceSense, which will use your Lights Wi-Fi connection to detect motion using a 360 degree detection range and will automatically turn on the lights when you walk into the room. You can customize many of the settings of SpaceSense 2, like the time range and what happens when the bulb detects motion, like turn on a light or run in a scene, and then you can have the bulb automatically turn off whenever there's no motion. So the ability to do this without extra sensors is great. SpaceSense is relatively new so there are a bunch of limitations. Like you need to have at least two of Bluetooth supported Wiz bulbs in the same room within about six and a half feet of each other. The bulbs have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network and access point if you're using a mesh network or Wi-Fi repeaters, which are known to cause interference with this bulb and the SpaceSense feature. Now, after following all these steps, I cannot get SpaceSense to work. Not even once. I tested it in my office with the bulbs about on the opposite sides of the room, but whenever I walked in, the lights did not turn on. So I moved the bulbs to my living room to test them in a bigger area, but one of the bulbs kept connecting to my office Euro, whereas the other bulb connected to my living room Euro and caused SpaceSense not to work. A problem that I anticipate most people having since mesh networks are becoming more popular. After unplugging my office Euro and having the bulbs connect to the same Euro, the bulbs still did not turn on when I walked into the room, even with the sensitivity maxed out. Plus, if you put the bulb in a lamp fixture like most people will do, the bulb cannot see if you walk into a room, so the space sense feature to me is useless. A motion sensor or even a contact sensor on a door would work much better to turn on lights in a room. Sanglet does not support any additional features since the official Sanglet app does not support the Matters Sanglet smart bulb. So with all this being said, which Matter smart bulbs should you buy for your smart home? Well, as always, it comes down to your specific needs and preferences. But here's who each bulb is for and which one that I would personally recommend. Nanoleaf is $20 and great if you already have Thread or other Nanoleaf devices or want to use the many special lighting effects this bulb has. If you can get the bulb to work consistently as I often had to reset it and this was very frustrating. Sanglet is also $20 and offers the least amount amount of features for a smart bulb, so I think it's a bit overpriced for the lack of features that you get compared to other bulbs. Which again, may or may not be a problem for you if you just want a basic smart bulb, but there are other smart bulbs that cost less, have more features, and work just as well, like Topo and Wiz. Wiz is $13, comes in a single or multi-pack, and I think is a fair price for a basic smart bulb with a few extra features. Wiz also offers different types of bulbs that support matter as well, and I like Wiz, but what I like even more is Topo. It's very bright, accurate with colors, and although you don't get that many lighting effects like you get with Nanoleaf, which you may or may not need, I personally don't, and is my personal pick for a matter smart bulb. Topo retails for $18 and comes in a single and multi-pack. Topo also makes other matter-enabled devices like a smart switch and smart plug, as well as two cameras that work with HomeKit Secure Video that might just be the perfect camera for your smart home. And here's my review of those two Topo cameras. Let me know what matter smart bulb that you like down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.